Let's take a look at how we would measure the flow of water. Say you have a hydroponics project or other lab experiment, and you don't need very precise readings. This is not going to get you as accurate reading of dosing, say, like a peristolic pump would do. But this one actually does quite well. If you can see inside, I know it's really hard, there's a little water wheel in there, and there's a magnet and a Hall effect sensor in here. And every time that wheel spins, the sensor triggers a high or low. And that makes it really easy to work with, but it also makes it a little inaccurate. So basically every time the sensor in here is triggered, it's the equivalent of about two and a quarter mils. So let's hook it up. This is easily done by simply connecting. If I look underneath this little bit of rubber here, there's a red and red goes to five volts. In fact, I don't even need a breadboard for this one. And again, if I look in here, there's black that goes to ground. And the last one is our signal, just like a standard hall sensor. And that we're going to put into digital pin two. So we're basically going to read a pulse, an on or an off, or a change in pulse. So now that we have this hooked up, let's take a look at that code. I'll load up my Arduino, and I happen to have the product page for this particular flow sensor right here. And if I scroll down, I can click right there, and you see there's a GitHub. And I can actually just grab the code that they posted there. See, it's a fair amount of code. And like I said, it's, it's pretty complicated measuring whether it's on or off in a very, very fast rate. And we'll copy the code. No libraries are needed whatsoever. And here is how you hook it up. This also includes the liquid crystal library because I can simply add six more wires and have a little LCD display showing how many liters have passed, but I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use a serial monitor. So let's go ahead and make sure my Arduino is plugged in. Board, port still going. There it is. Upload this code. Oh, and it wants me to save it. So I'll call this flow test. Now it's compiling and uploading. See the flashing. And I really don't always like mixing electronics, especially when I've got my laptop and everything here with water. So in this case, I'm just going to blow through here because I think I can just blow on that wheel and it should spin and we should see an output. So let's open up the serial monitor and you can see I'm getting, let's stop it from scrolling. You can see I'm getting zero pulses and zero liters have passed through. So let me just blow through this really quickly. And we'll pause it real quick. And you can see I now have 0.26 liters and I've sensed 116 pulses. So the software is able to very quickly and very accurately measure when a pulse comes in and then it can convert those pulses over an amount of time and do some simple math to figure out how many liters have passed through. So that's a basic overview on how to measure water flow. One other thing to note, there is a direction on here. So you are using multiple sensors or if you're using a level, that can be really important. Really easy to hook up. Three wires, some free to download code from Adafruit, and you're good to go.